What's up with you? You already know what it is. It's the Home Care General Jesse Epps, and I'm back in the building. And yes, I had to fire my sister, man. Get her out of there. But nah, man. So it was a mutual agreement. It was a mutual agreement between us two. So we still good. My sister still, I love her. She loved me. We're still good. But the reason why I'm even making this video is is, is, is is what I'm even talking about is, you know, a lot of y'all just getting started um, with your agency, with your business, and you want to hire your, your cousin, your auntie, your sister, your brother, your nephew. I'm just going to sit here and tell you, man, it, it's, it's probably not going to work out. So just a little backstory. You know, when I first started my company, of course, I wanted to do the same thing. I want to bring my sister in. I want to bring this person in. So my sister was actually working in the office. It was cool. But the thing is, it's my sister. And it's my older sister at that. So anytime I would need to say anything to her, like, hey, you know, I need you to do this. Or and not, not even trying to talk to her crazy or nothing like that, but. She she's my older sister. So she kind of took it like I was talking to her crazy, even though I wasn't. I was just trying to get some things done. And we would clash heads. We would we would definitely clash because she like, why are you talking to me like that? I'm like, I'm not talking to you like nothing. I'm just saying this work needs to get done. So, you know, as us going back and forth like that for a little while, we just understood that it just wasn't gonna work out. Because anything that I said to her, she was going to get offended. And then if she said something crazy back to me, then we was going to be arguing. It was just it, it, it was just going to be crazy. You know, so what I'm saying is if you do choose family members to work for your company, make sure that they're the right fit. You know, and I'm not saying... All your family members may not be the right fit. Some of them may, you may, they might already be on something that you're like, oh yeah, they would fit perfectly in my business structure. Then yeah, okay, I feel that. But what I'm saying is, I know you want to get the whole conglomerate, and I can't even say the word, but you want to put everybody on. But listen, you're gonna, you're gonna have some setbacks if you do that, because. You already know your family's going to feel entitled. They're going to feel like they ain't got to do halfway no work and they want to get paid on this level. So I'm just saying, just think about it, reconsider, and just make sure that your family member is going to be that right fit if you do choose to work with a family member. Like it may be, you know, your wife or something like that. Of course, you know, if you know they own it, then that's cool. But I'm saying like the other family members, you know, uh, you can't go get Uncle uh, Uncle Junebug, and he already begging. He already begged the whole family for money. Like, yeah, hey, uh, look at him. Uh, let me borrow like twenty dollars, and he'll never pay you back. I don't think he's gonna be a good fit. Uncle Junebug can't work for your company. Then you may have some people who come in with the wrong mindset. You know, thinking like, oh yeah, I'm about to come in here. I ain't about to do nothing. You know, I'm going to act like I'm helping, but I ain't doing nothing. No, everybody needs to be held accountable regardless because this is this is your business and you want this thing to take off. You got to operate it like a business, no matter if it's your sister, no matter if it's your brother, no matter if it's your mother or your father. Guess what? If they come in to the company, then they need to know their position. They need to play it because if you don't, now you're doing everybody else's job and it don't make sense. So why did you even hire them? So all I'm saying is think about it so you don't have to make the mistake and hire them or bring them on, and then you gotta fire them. That's not the best, that's not that's not a good feeling to have to do that, but you know, sometimes it's necessary. So I'm just trying to help you before you have to be like me and my sister. Which I said, like, it wasn't, it was a mutual thing. Like, she understood that it just wasn't going to work out. I understood that. And we kind of just parted ways like that. And, you know, I'm doing my thing. She's doing her thing. And this works out. Now, I love her even more. <laughs> but we just can't, we just can't work together. And and that's just, that's just a fact. And a lot of 
people know that as well. <laughs> a lot of home care agency owners found out as well. So you don't be the one that have to find out like that. So maybe you might need to go get a stranger to work for your company because at least they know that they're coming and they're working a job. They're like, well, I'm here for a job. I'm here to do what I need to do. Go home. I need to feed my kids. And they understand that role. But family, I'm just saying, <sighs> yeah, they could be the worst ones. So look, nobody else going to tell you this. I'm telling you, like, search, search the web. For anybody that's talking about this home care and see if they're going to tell you this. I'm going to tell you straight up because, like I said, I've already had the experience. I'm going to tell you what's real. I'm not going to spoon feed you. I'm going to tell you the real so I can help you so you don't have to make these mistakes in the beginning. And now you can just take off and you don't have to go back and have this uncomfortable conversation with your sister or with your brother about what they're not doing. And now they're looking at you upside your head because you hired them. Now you got to get rid of them. That's almost like letting somebody come move in your house but not move in. They say they're going to stay there for a couple of days and it turn into a couple of weeks and then it turn into a couple of months. And then next time you look up, it's a couple of years and you're like, man, how am I going to get them out of here? Because now it's like they live there. Same situation. You let your family come into your business. They working and they're not really doing what you want them to do, but you let them slide. You just let it go on and on and on. It's gonna be a hard. It's gonna be a hard thing <laughs> when it's time for you to be like, "Hey, uh, listen, it's we gotta have a conversation." Yeah, I don't think this is working out. <laughs> All right, man. But look, hope this helps. I keep coming back. You know, keep keep tuning into the videos. I'll be putting some more secrets out there, some more tips, some more strategies. You know, to help you uh, move forward. In your agency, all right? So you already know. Just to exist isn't living. Because if you just exist and you're not living, holler back.